Hello again, welcome back. I've got an Australian beer tonight from my Beer 52 box and it's Juicy IPA which is 6% and it's from Three Ravens Brewery in Australia, where about? Thornbury, Victoria, Australia. That is a 6% ABV, 30 IBU. It's a New England IPA. Uh, so let's crack her open and see. We'll have a wee read at the can first. See what it says. Uh, beer juiced by three ravens. Uh, nice can, nice bright, uh, attractive. Uh, eye-catching on the shelf so it's uh, from Three Ravens Thornbury, Victoria, Australia it's a 370ml, 75ml can hazy, fruity, lush uh, treat like milk, drink from the can I won't be drinking it from the can I'll be drinking it from my beer 52 glass Let's crack it open and see what it's like. Oh yeah. Pouring looks like a, a pineapple juice again. <laughs> they all look like pineapple juices to me. So, colour. It's quite pale actually. Fast rising bubbles. Finger nail ahead. Although that might have been my poor, but it's not going to last that. It's uh, slightly hazy. Yeah, I can't see the outline of my fingers through there. Uh, let's. See. Yeah, that head's practically gone already. It's back, but it's loose, soapy bubbles. A big pineapple hit. There's a, a danky yeast smell about it as well. Very nice. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, my dears. Oh, a bit of carbonation on the tongue. Sweeter than I thought it would be. Oh yeah, I'm getting that malty sweetness at the back, but the big, the, the big thing at the front is the fruitiness, the pineapple, basically. That is very nice indeed. Let's see what uh, Untapped's got to say about it. Yeah, Juicy IPA, Three Ravens Brewery, IPA New England, 6% ABV, 30 IBU. Uh, Victoria, Australia Style Guide In the endless pursuit of hoppiness we've taken some quite extreme measures and hops to create a fresh new take on the intentionally hazy Vermont style IPA We've done without crystal malt and boil hops relying instead on Australian grown tri Triticale a hybrid, a hybrid of wheat and rye, never heard of it, and rolled oats, heavy whirlpool and dry hop additions, including one very generous and hilariously rule-breaking dry hop addition at the start of fermentation. A cult lineup of Hallertau Blanc, Mutter, El Dorado, Lemon Drops, hops deliver intense aromatics of candied lemon, lime zest, guava, white grape and passion fruit. The inimitable English top cropping yeast lends peach and apricot esters while transforming the early dry hop edition into what can only be described as a breakfast juice. With minimal bitterness and a soft palate courtesy of the protein-rich triticale and oats. This is best summed up in one word, juicy. That is quite an essay, isn't it? 
It's got 11,000 check-ins with an average of 3.71. So, <laughs> that, is, that is quite a story, isn't it? It's very nice. Yeah. Let's go through the tasting sheet from craftbeer.com. I don't know why I printed this out. Because that is just basically what's on um, untapped. This is beer number 90, by the way. So, excuse me, got hiccups. So, let's go for colour first. What does it say on here? About a four, three, four, something like that. That head is not, there's no head retention at all there. Say a three or a four. The clarity is slightly hazy, slightly hazy. Colour of foam, head retention, none. Foam texture, thin, none. Carbonation, vigil, visual. This is me sober as well, I'll put my teeth in. Uh, it's slow, the visual carbonation. Aroma, alcohol, mild, not detectable to mild, it's very faint. The hops, mm -hmm. I'm mostly getting pineapple there, tropical, uh, slightly hinty citrus, maybe a slight piney resinous. Uh, the malt, uh, maybe a bit bready, maybe uh, the esters, that's what I'm getting at, the pineapple, the pear, the apricot. The alcohol taste is not detectable to mild. The hop flavour, yes, citrus, fruity, piney, tropical. The hop bitterness is restrained to moderate. The malt flavour is bready, maybe biscuity. Uh, malt sweetness is it's low to medium, there is a sweetness there. Palate astringency is low, body is quite drying, palate carbonation is low, length finishes up to 60 seconds, balance and drinkability is desirable, style appropriate, yeah, New England IPA. I've seen hazier ones, and I've seen fruitier ones. But that is very nice, it's big pineapple that's coming through, for me. We'll do the big pour. Just stop, just in time. Brian, uh, the beer snobs, big pour. Cheers, mate. Funny guy. Anyway, would I buy this again? Definitely. I'm loving my, uh, my, my IPAs, my juicy New England IPAs. The, the score out of 10, I would probably give that uh, 7.8. Out of 10, which is what 3.8. What do they give it on untapped? 3.71. So I'm just just above that. So that's a fairly decent score. It's a very nice drink, very pleasant. Uh, and it's 6%. Yeah, you could have a few of these. Would I buy it again? I already says that, yes. And this is me sober. Uh, yeah, I would, I would drink a few of them. Very nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm rambling a bit tonight. It's, it's too late for me. It's almost midnight. It's six minutes to midnight. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears.
Thumbs up.